Hello everyone. Today we have on my bench something very unusual. It's ADS C4 tape recorder. And ADS stands for analog digital systems. I never seen this beast before, so again. Uh-huh, now it's pulls out fully. So here is the timer function. Finder select Dolby BC MPX calibration level or bias. <laughs> okay. Uh, pretty interesting like one cup stand. Let me see how many heads we have here. Three head deck. Uh, one cup stands, three head, and in pretty decent form factor. Uh, here is the levels. Uh, let me see if it can move. Done. Oh, yeah. Pass forward, rewind, doesn't work. Okay, nothing works. So here is a C60. We get counter, theorem type of the tape. So we set memory, set, repeat, A space. Oh. okay so that would be a task for me to disassemble this guy uh i'm not sure i will find uh, service manual but i will try to so it tries to pull tape but it does not you see Okay, let me remove light. Let's try it different way. So. Okay. so probably it has either which needs to be replaced. You see heads engaged, but capstan doesn't rotate in as well. Why? This would be a long story, I believe. So now let me open it and let's see together what's inside. See you soon. And here, guys, I just opened the deck. So we may see the design. So it's pretty well reminds me Sony K88. I mean, it's a little bit different layout. So Sony had a power supply on the left, and we have power supply here on the right. And we have the same two boards. And moving transport with logic behind the transport here on the carriage. So I see it's everything moves all together. So, okay. Let me see if I can revive this guy. This would be interesting. Now next I will have to disconnect these uh, parts to pull up tape transport. Let me see. Maybe I will just remove the front panel. I will try to find a service manual, so probably it will make my life easier. See you soon. And here, guys, I removed the screws from the bottom cover, and as you may see on the left and on the right side, the middle screws are longer. So let me pull out the cover and let's see together what's next. And here, guys, how the deck looks from underneath when I removed the cover. And I'm already unscrewing the front panel. I will try to remove it gently. I need to see how to do it. So far, very similar design to beginning of 80s, like 81, 84, 86 maybe. When like when you see the boards done this a similar way. Uh, the only thing I see here is a flat cable. That's the difference. I'm not sure they've been using this these days, but we'll see. 
Okay, moving on. We'll try to remove front cover and see how to pull out the transfer to disassemble it. And uh, here, guys, I removed the front panel. Uh, these two boards were holding by the uh, pins, which are installed here. So you just release them, and you you get it. Okay. So there are some LEDs, I believe, or these transistors. <laughs> Hard to say. All right, moving on. Now this part. Need to see how it works. Be able to remove. I believe if I remove this cover, it should go up pretty easily. See you. Hey guys, and I continue this assembly, and I believe it may be interesting for you. So, I unscrew it from both sides, the front panel here to get access. To be able to pull off this board, we have a connector right here. Oh, I believe I would need to pull and remove this board. Uh, and this connector, let me see. Oh. Pretty interesting design, so this one releases like that, and then I believe we may pull the cable, uh-huh. So that's the front panel. Let me put it aside. Now I should have better access to the front connector here. Yes. Now it's been disconnected and we have a couple more wires. Uh -huh. That's where the screws <laughs> they already somewhere inside. So we get the, the last one. So the screws were just right there. So let me find where the others go. And these wires are soldered, as you may see. This for the lights. And that's where we get access to the tape transport. Still like screws to be removed from the transport. So let's see. Right, two more, and we have the last one left. I believe I will look for it a little bit later. So let me remove this board. Looks like it has just a few connectors right here on the front. Okay. No. And the last one has a ground wire right here. Okay, screws are all the same. That's nice. Now, can I pull it out? So 
something else is is holding it. Oh, yeah. Every time they invent something new. I could, cannot get from here. Let me see. We have a couple more connectors, so it should go up this way. But it, there is a wire, another connector. So, how they, they do it? There is no room to put your hand. Really. I may try to disconnect, but then it will be very problematic to connect it back. Uh -huh. just disorder these guys this is the uh, bulbs so two red and two white so do it here done that's what we leave us some room to work now the wires there's somewhere still like one screw left. Oops. Okay. That's the fourth screw I've been looking for. Nice. So if you will disconnect these wires here, can we just pull it? one time okay let me just cut it off here we go yeah it just works one direction zip tie of some kind okay now I have more access here Technically, I just need to lubricate the gears and motor here, and I don't need to pull this part out. Uh, let me see if we need to do it. So, tape transport connectors here, and we go for this board. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can release it. So I just broke the seal. This deck was never serviced. See, right here. It's rotating a blue one. Can we pull it out now? Uh -huh, here are two more. Uh, 
as my teacher told, if one engineer was able to design it and assemble, the other one will always be, be able to disassemble it. I, here is one more cable. Let me see what else. Uh huh, there are head wires. Each one goes around the board, so they will, will be holding us when they go underneath. Technically, we need to remove this board to get better access. Sony did design it a little bit better. All connectors were from the one side. And here I'm struggling to find a position. Okay, maybe remove this cover and we will get access. Let me see. This looks like it will pull all mechanism out. So this would not give us any better position to get access to the connectors. Can do it from here now. They are soldered, it's not the connectors. So all these wires goes right here. So we have connector right here. One. That's one, the color one. We have uh, black, white right here. Come on. Okay. There's a black white here for new capacitor. Where goes the rest? We have the rice head here. And now we need to remove this port. Come on. I hope I believe it should be designed better. So we can just quickly do what we need. Another zip tie here. And another one. So here is, I believe, playback or record head, probably record, red colors here. Okay, here goes the playback head. Uh -huh. Here we get. Another connector right here. There's no room to put a hand. Quite not sure why they do like that. Okay. Let's go underneath and we have another one, two, three connectors. Oh yeah, let's see. Five, six and two. Six. Call 
eight wires and then five wires and another two wires okay and the last ground wire here And I will put screw back because it holds uh, stand here, as you may see. Come on. Go back. Right. I hope this is everything. So now how he moves his boards. So one connector, small one, which holds everything now. And it's technically not a connector, it's just tie it together here with zip ties. So you have to cut the zip ties, both of them. Okay, the one and the other. Now we have room. I can remove this flat cable. Like that. Right. Uh -huh. We have a progress here. I was able to remove this board. Technically, we don't need to disconnect. So we can put all those connectors back. Uh, the only that had wires. So this will be holding us. Uh, here I belt needs to be replaced for this mechanism so you see this has a jurs mechanism not a worm like a sony but just jur mechanism oh yeah now this will be tricky to replace this belt you need to push out the shaft to release the warm deer. I, what we have now here. This. I think we need to remove these patches. Now we have these boards separated and tape transports can be separated like this. See how long the head wires in these deck models? Very long, like two hits, maybe more. Okay, now I can remove the deck from here. Need to see how the shaft is, is hold. Someone was lubricating it, it's I'm not sure if it's original. Lubricant is still good. Mm. 
Okay. Let me remove this part. And we may set up for this oh, Here you see the belt is fall down. That's why it was not working. And oh, it's a huge belt, a huge capstone here. Okay, let me set up everything better. And close the view. So what we have, we have electromagnet here. Okay, you see heads work here on the shaft to keep position. It still goes pretty smooth. Maybe this magnet. How oh, this is engaged. Another magnet. Uh huh. It's like that. Okay. Looks like standard size pinch roller. This sensors needs to be cleaned. Motor has four pins, as you may see. And we have second motor here. With another belt which needs to be replaced. It's, it's already loose. Okay. And I need to see. Does it have an idler? I believe it is right there. Right there. Is this gear? Not gear. Is this a... Oh, come on, I forget the word again. This pulley. So this pulley uh, moves the idler. So we need to fully disassemble this part. So let me remove this. Okay, from here. Okay. Would you be able to work on this deck? Tell me in comments. Stand in place, and that's the bell side. Oh, it's it's so stretched. Really, take a look. It's on this size. It's it's so loose. So I believe it should be like that. Somewhere. Okay, and this still should be a very large belt. Hundred sixty, hundred fifty. Okay, the the biggest one I have hundred twenty five. Oh, you see, it's already sticky. Oh, <laughs> wow! It's bent from trousers. Let me see. It's the biggest one I have.
is this one family 25 will be enough to pull <laughs> on this capstan you see it's already tight 125 on this capstan wow so plus here so we need a really really long belt here not so long as this one but again let's let's measure something like that oh, yeah. that's how much exceed we have how long this will be sitting here okay. 135 and technically it's now 1 1 130 125 130 okay and this one should be Oh, it's 116, that's why it's short. So short, let's find one 125. like 116 no 124 no I measured something wrong Should be working. But when I pull it here, it does not. So something something really don't, don't play for me. Oh yeah. You see? This one will be too tight. Let's say measuring on. I can't do it. 35 okay but still like is it just okay let me try to see in the manual if the indicator is the proper ones because I cannot measure this belt with which stretches like that I'm trying to do my best but it doesn't play you can measure here so diameter 88 millimeters so eighty-eight by P right okay let me try it it's better without stretching it we still have like, like this much like 150 yeah we need like 150 155 half learns like here I need to order this belt, I don't have such. See you guys.
well i decided to do everything else and then just wait for the belt to come to be able to fix it motor a little bit noisy let me see here below this board This is what I have, and now here is the wheels and wheel sensors. Okay, and here is the idler, as I thought. You see, right. Right, let me pull it out. So technically this deck done fine, you see it has uh, spacers with all friction. Another spacer here on the bottom. Let me see the diameter 17. So it should be the same as the Pioneer. Let me compare. Yes, Pioneer, Adler, my work, let me measure it. It's a little bit thicker. From diameter perspective it will work. I'm not sure if it will fit there. Kind of like half millimeter thicker. Let's try. Because this idler is it's still kind of not very bad. So the rubber it has no cracks. And it looks pretty nice. Let me see. We can pull it out. Okay. Yeah, it's still good, good rubber quality. It's flexible. You see, no cracks. Let's compare. Same size as a Pioneer, technically. Let me see if Pioneer will fit. Yeah, fits. Uh, just here, it's a little bit push. Done. See? Pioneer Idler works for this deck. Good. Good to know. Uh, 
Now I can install it back. a little bit tricky because it's not seats it has to be elevated to be installed Works much easier when everything is tight. So I will just pull it right here. In many cases I was assembling this very very easily, but not in this one. Come on. have it working. done this part will work fine okay that would be it for today I will assemble it back uh, the, this board 
Yes, sensors. And I will disconnect this motor and try to lubricate it and see if it will perform quieter than what it's doing now. Pulley sits on it pretty tight. Way too noisy. Okay, let me work on it and I see you in the next part. Hey guys, uh, looks like I found the belt, so it's pretty close on the size, a little bit shorter. And then the older which is too large and i will try this one uh, it's from my real to real experience i was buying early so let's try to install and see i'm already lubricated the shaft and top bearing on this motor so there is no access from the bottom to get to it to lubricate inside so i would not open it for now now let's install the capstan back and lubricate the bearing. Now you we'll see how well it rotates. Now the moment of truth if this belt will fit. It's a very nice belt and stretches nicely. Uh, let me see if we go opposite direction. Oops, this looks like exactly what we need. It's not too tight, you see, you can easily stretch it at the same time. Oops. Uh, it's full. So let's try again. I'm not sure. I found just one source, and there is no any dimensions on the internet. Once only one source in Germany which sells bells for this deck, and this deck appeared to be the same, exactly the same as Brown C4. Okay. Let me see. It will work. Uh, what's the proper direction? This one. Okay, this is the proper direction. Let's be clean top here. Let's lubricate. Now, assembling this back. Okay, it just falls too easily. I'm sure why. As soon as I touch it, so, so there is no any guide <laughs> on it anywhere okay let me try put it here 
if it will not work so we will have to wait and order bells from Germany works boom doesn't work For some reason when we pull in here <laughs> it goes over you see it just goes low so there is no any guide then the beads is, looks the same for the belt it's about four millimeters See, it just pulls low. I'm afraid this would not work. I need to run it and see. Okay. Maybe just because uh, we're running it upside down. So what will happen here? Here we run it. Oh, yeah. You see, in this position, it runs well. All oh, right. So let me see. Brakes. Brakes works. Next, we need to clean up cup stand, put oil washer. And replace pinch roller. Okay, see, it works. What moves here? We need to lubricate also right here. And I will lubricate this part where we have a working. Mm -hmm. Also, um, here. I like how it's made. This is, looks like German design. <laughs> really interesting solutions. Okay. Next pinch over is my glasses. It has a cut plastic ring.
Okay, see you soon. Okay, I found the ring. Now we can remove the roller. And it has small ring underneath to reduce friction. Really good design. This is narrow, you see, it's significantly narrow, let me measure. Okay, let's see, 30 millimeters, standard diameter. But the width is just 6.7 millimeter. So I believe I will have to revive this guy because standard is 8 millimeter. See, not 6.7. Let me clean it. And what is interesting, this roller is a little bit rounded, so in the middle it's taller than on the sides. Okay, let's try it up, maybe if it looks good. Okay, heads looks to be a little bit worn and looks like some dust for me. Uh, let me demagnetize them.
ね。Oh, no trousers as well. Clean up a little bit of space. No. This cable goes here. Done. Let me pull up the deck and we will be assembling it. To replace this belt. I forget about it. Okay. See? No. I can pull it right here. And now we have access to replace a small belt. It's really small. It's like Sony tape transport belt. It's close. Let me see if we can fit it. Hi, it works good. So, you see, Sony and Pioneer pretty good to work here. 
We use it by new Radler. And we using Sony belt. The only long belt. The one I installed, I believe it's 175 millimeters half length. So we'll see if it will perform. Probably need to rotate it. Make it a little bit more convenient. So now we get wires. Flat cable, let's see. Comparing to Sony, as you see, it has just one board, not two boards. Okay, I'll pull you here. these wires need to pull them more now it sits free we have three connectors here good this wires closer let's see I would not uh, fully close it I will just assemble all connectors, so why you don't pop up? Here, play back. Your card heads. And the rice head here. Done. Now this control board, you see, it has already brown CPU here. So, and motor controllers, so it's more modern than Sony. I believe it's been released significantly later. Okay, so, let's see connectors right here. this board okay, here it's a ground wire connector adjust camera just in the moment I see that you cannot see fully what I'm doing so this should be better so I'm attaching the board back we don't need to remove it anymore because we changed the belt and lubricated eject mechanism so the only tape transport would needs to be pulled out if belt would not work okay so 
Oh, it's a little bit different. Now, flat cable. Let me see. Have to install it right here. Okay, and then close from both sides. it okay that's how it should sit and let's continue assembly Remember, we put ground wire, wire back under this skill. Assemble all these connectors. These three pins right here. One, then five, then six. done and we have a couple more this four units right here space is really tight I, this connector goes right here Okay, and the last one. I just don't remember. There was a place for it. Better. Uh -huh. Here, remember now. Done. So now all wires are attached. And technically we should be good to start deck and see if it will start to form. And we need to attach the front panel to 
What is this cable? Oh, there is this panel. Technically, I'm sure it's just calibration though. We probably we don't need this one for now. But you would need this panel to operate. Okay. I believe this should be enough to make it run in. No shortcuts, everything is fine. Okay, let's see if it starts your phone. Okay, it's retracted. No. Tape. Fast forward works. Divine works. Stop works. Playback doesn't work. Okay, counter works. Let me remove the cone. So here is the tape, here is the counter, shows a spheric. Okay, fast forward and the device speed is not very quick. Not as quick as Sony with direct drive motors on the reels, but it's okay. And you see when tape is uh, loaded horizontally, fast forward and rewind, put the tape really tight and really good comparing with the tape sits vertically. Yeah, and I see Capstan is not rotating. Trying to run way back. Here, Capstan doesn't move. Okay, I need to see if it's motor or something else. Oh yeah, see you guys. And here guys, I was able to make motor running. It just was sitting like for a long time and didn't start. Now it started. It's a little bit noisy, as you may hear, but it's working. Okay. And we haven't have a counter in minutes on the right side. Okay. How to make it tiny. This panel makes me crazy. Okay, now it works and we have a level. Woohoo! Okay, we're running, belt works, no issues. Motor itself was issue. It didn't run for very long time, I believe. We have a progress. 
I will continue working and tuning this deck and see. Uh, this one has uh, red indicators. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Good. See you in the next part. Okay, guys, I'm assembled uh, the transport, uh, but belt from Kapstan is too relaxed, it just fall off. I have to order Kapstan belt. Everything else looks to be working smoothly, but we cannot test playback because Kapstan is not rotating. Okay. We can eject mechanism. Even it has uh, like optical sensors uh, to for endpoints when mechanism is out and in. I still hear as the motor works a couple seconds after. So listen yourself. You see. I'm not sure, and like our mechanism is pulls quite easily still. This end point, you see it here is a gear, and it runs through this rail. Okay. That would be it for today. I have to order belts. It will take a couple weeks to get them. So we will continue with this deck when I have the belts. See you guys. Bye-bye.